Hello guys, my name is Kylie Lonya. Welcome, if you are new with us, welcome back if you've been here before. Um, if you've been here before, I have so much stuff in this cabinet and um, I have gotten rid of a specific ingredient in my skincare routine, so I've been very particular with what I'm using lately and a lot of the other stuff I just don't touch. And I'm ready to get rid of things. I don't need things. I have so much stuff and I don't need it. So we are gonna declutter all this and get rid of all the things I don't need. Which I'm very proud of. Um, like something like this I use every day. This is the Indie Lee Cleanser. I switched back to this one because it's ingredient safe. I just have so much stuff that I don't need. Also, um, I don't know if I've told you guys or expressed this very much, but I have been looking at apartments out in California, so hopefully I will be kind of moving soon. I am just removing all the things I majorly use on the daily. Like this, this is empty. Why do I have this? Benzyl peroxide and like Sycopass, I'll obviously keep. This lactic acid I'm gonna keep for now. I don't know like how long I'm gonna keep it for. I am gonna get rid of this retinol eye cream because I literally don't use it. I've been using it for forever. I'm gonna keep this toner from Snail Rescue and this Lancome exfoliator. I don't know how you guys feel, but I feel as though we are living in such a consumerism point in our lives right now. Like, we, I just own so much stuff. And I'm like, I don't need this stuff. This retinol, I am gonna keep because it's really expensive, but I don't need it. Like, it's not something I use a lot. I am actually gonna get rid of this double serum from Clarence because I don't like this. It's not good for my skin. I'm also gonna get rid of this Mario Badescu drying lotion. This ordinary eyelash serum, I don't need. This I am getting rid of and um, I'm gonna return. That's the entire top shelf done. I'm impressed. We're making good progress. I really like these Neutrogena acne patches. They're really big. A and then B like they come in individually wrapped containers kind of like band-aids and I really enjoy that. What have you guys been up to? I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever. I don't know what I'm doing with my hair right now. I'm kind of just letting that color fade out that I put in and hoping for the best. I really want to bleach it again soon. Um, this is a gua sha and a rose quartz roller and then like a little eye thing. I keep them sanitized in a little cup. This is the medicated acne mask from Murad. I'm gonna look at what's in this. Um, looking at the ingredients, this is safe to put on my skin. So I'm gonna keep that. I really like these. I don't use them as much as I'd like to. They are the Skin Fix Resurfacing AHA BHA Niacinamide Exfoliating Pads. I do really enjoy these. These retinol eye patches I've had for forever. Uh... I think I'm gonna keep them for a little bit longer. The jar is almost empty, so I think I'm just gonna finish them. You guys are really getting all nitty and gritty up in my uh, cupboard today. Hope you guys like this. This is the Beekman Makeup Wipes. I am gonna keep these until they're finished. I don't know if I would buy these again. I just like really don't love the way they take off makeup. I think I would rather buy like uh, just Marcella water and use that. This is the Venus Hair and Skin Softening Oil. And I don't need that, I don't use it. Oh, this was one of the first ever devices I ever got for my skin. I think I'm gonna keep this for a little bit longer. It's a dry brush, I really like. I don't use it a ton, but I wanna get into it a little bit more, so I'm gonna keep this. Dry brushing is supposed to be really good for your skin. It's like a way to exfoliate it without it being wet. And it's just supposed to be really good for like your circulation as well. This I keep all like my makeup reusable cotton pads in here, so I'm gonna keep this. This is another device that I really like. I got this one forever ago, and I love it, but I hardly touch it, but I am gonna keep it. You know, on second thought, I am gonna get rid of this device, cause like, your girl don't need that, and that's okay. I have this Greek yogurt probiotic mask, but I don't need this. This is the B-flat and B-type by Maylis. These things work. This expires next month, and this expires at the end of the year. 
So I'm gonna try to use them all before that. These are the killer from Love Wellness. I really liked these. They're vaginal supplements. I only use like four, but I really liked them. These are way expired. They expired last year in May. Um, but I liked these, so you should go get these. That is everything from up there. Next, I wanna do my little cart that I have on the floor, so give me two seconds and we'll do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys like kind of can't see the cart, so I'm just gonna put up what's on it. I have um, gloves, and I use these every time I dye my hair. Also, sorry if you guys can hear, the oven is running. I am making dinner. I'm making French toast and um, breakfast casserole, and I'm really excited. This is B Tan's Tanner. I'm gonna keep this. <sighs> Honestly, I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing lately, and that is so okay. Like, that's so okay. To go back to like uh, telling you guys that I'm looking at apartments. I've just been applying at apartments over in California just to see what's gonna happen. I figured it's not gonna hurt anything to apply. See what happens. Um, this is the Beekman Shea Butter. I really like this stuff, but it, the smell really bothers me, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Yeah, and that's, it's okay. It's okay to not know what I want to do. And that's not like a bad thing. These are like all the cotton rounds that are reusable so you just have to go and wash. This is empty so I'm going to toss this. It's like so okay to not know what I want to do. Even though that seems like a bad thing, it's not. Actually, it's kind of a luxury to not know what I want to do. Because like, I'm not in a rush. This is a Dove soap bar. I don't really use Dove unless I get a tattoo, so for right now I'm gonna toss this. This is a handmade soap bar that's um, honey, tangerine with orange zest. I'm really excited to try that next. I have a nail brush. It's like a hair clip. This is that Ordinary Hair Serum that I really like for her density. Keep that, even though I haven't used it in a little bit. Um, brush cleaner. Always keeping that. This is a little Olplex um, hair mask. It's a mini, and I don't really need this, so I'm going to toss it. My main thing is that I have a lot of hair treatments that I don't really need. Like, I have the liquid glass serum from Dry Bar. And, honestly, I don't really need this. And it makes my hair a little oily. So, I'm going to toss this. This TGIN rose water mask, I think I'm going to keep until it's empty. It's almost empty. This is a Miracle Repair mask. I'm going to keep this. And then this is a Hydra Splash gel mask from Joico. Also going to keep this. I used to do a hair mask pretty much once a week. But now that I have shorter hair, I don't do it as much. So uh, now I have a lot of masks and just kind of don't use them. This is the Light Tush Clarifying Butt Mask from Mega Babe. I'm going to keep this. I really like this. I don't use it much in the summer because it does intensify like uh, sunburn. So I'm always careful. And then I have like um, Sebastian Drench under here for when I finish my Joico ones. So that is really exciting. Um, honestly, I thought I had a lot more stuff, but I still got rid of like a whole bag of stuff. So that's really exciting for me. Um, I guess I'm going to end this here. I'm so sorry that videos have been like really short lately and that they've kind of been all over the place. I am really trying to figure it out for you guys. Like, I'm trying to get my stuff together. And it's just been a little struggle bus for me lately. And that is okay. I love you all so much. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!